welcome back again. This is Unit 3 of Computers and Intelligence Tools, presented by Kizito Mpanga. We are going to look at the intelligence tools that are used in the hospitality business. Now, the hospitality business hasn't been left behind. Just like other industries, we have seen how intelligence tools, um, robots work hand in hand, doing what human beings have traditionally uh, been able to do. The hospitality industry, big as it is, has got some, some of the most interesting robots in the world. As we speak right now, the hospitality industry is probably one that has seen a lot more robots than some of the other fields. From robots taking over as waiters, carrying food to uh, clients, to robots taking over as front desk operators, uh, as porters in hotels, taking luggage to rooms, uh, as well as answering telephone calls. All this is happening even as we speak now. Now, one of the things, again, that never ceases to amaze humanity is the ability for these robots to commitment to work without stopping. Because they are robots, they can work 24-7, 365 days, non-stop. They don't need leave, they don't fall sick, or say, oh, no, I can't do that, I can't lift that. As long as anything has been given to them, they will take it up. One robot, actually, can take multiple orders and deliveries. Five, ten people would say, I want this dish, I want that, I want this out. It will take all those orders and deliveries one after the other without even mixing or asking, um, sorry, what did you order? No. They will deliver to the right people at extremely fast speeds compared to what human beings can do. And by reducing human errors, it means standards are being raised. Standards are high now. And robots keep improving on the overall quality of services. Why? Because remember, they can use the data that is given back in form of feedback by customers to improve next time they are saving customers. Repetitive, cook, uh, repetitive routines, cooking, washing, contactless check-in process can all be greatly improved when we employ uh, the robots uh, to do those things. There is also personalized recommendation. By analyzing data from clients, you know, this client will say, oh, I had this experience here. The other client will say, no, I didn't have that experience. All that can be put together, analyzed, and robots can make personalized recommendations based on the feedback from customers for their next engagement with a company or with a hotel uh, so that Every time that client comes to that hotel, improvements are made and the situations are getting better. Guests who also want to engage with particular hotels uh, within the hospitality industry can use voice-activated devices to control features in their hotel rooms and their surroundings. For example, it is common nowadays to walk into a hotel room where your shower will take a command from you. The moment you go into the shower and say, shower, open, water starts sprinkling on you. All that is happening thanks to the intelligence tools that is being used within the hospitality industries. And these robots are very, very good because they can also predict maintenance issues all the equipment that is being used within, within the hotel, for example, um, at one point or another would require some form of maintenance. 
Sometimes human beings may write down and say, okay, on such and such a day, we will do maintenance on this or that equip piece of equipment. Sometimes they forget. Sometimes the paper they wrote on might even get lost. With robots and their computerized uh, way of doing things, they can shade you maintenance of such equipment and ensure on the said date and time they trigger a message that will say maintenance on that equipment. Kitchen accidents, the risks, you know, that are associated with people cooking and people working in a kitchen can no longer apply or cannot apply to robots because those are machines. And overall, they can improve customer experience, you know. They can also introduce certain new brands uh, based on customer loyalty. All the time, if John keeps coming to this hotel, there must be something good that they, they are following or there must be something good that hotel management is doing in order to retain John as a client. Because of that, a robot can keep track of all the times that John has been coming to this hotel and because John has proved to be loyal, reward such loyalty. Again, an, a, good, a, a good example of how customers can be kept and can be pleased every time they visit the hotel. A lot of people, a lot of people nowadays travel from one place to the other, be it for business, for work, or for pleasure. Oftentimes, we go to book a flight and uh, traditionally speaking, you needed to walk into uh, a travel agent and say, oh, okay, I've come to book uh, for, for, for a flight to Germany, to Switzerland, uh, to UK. Uh, when is the availability of such and such a flight? And then you, go, you are taken through all the steps. That I, Nowadays, you don't need to walk there. All you need is to simply go online purchase your air ticket or reserve your air ticket. You can book, you can check in, even you can check in your flight even before you arrive at the airport. You can reshade you, your travel dates if say something comes up. You can speak to um, uh, um, what you might call um, a person or a air ticket reservation person, but in actual fact, you are talking to a robot that is specialized in handling such requests regarding um, uh, reservations and bookings. So the robot will help you, it will answer questions, it will direct, it will even make suggestions for you based on what um, has been uh, given to, 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 to the robot by, by, by the developers. And majority of them are very good in terms of interacting with customers. And they can even make recommendations for your next flight. Again, you get to, your, to, to the airport, you will find that robots are all over nowadays. They are trying to talk to customers, interact with them, you know, wishing them safe, safe trips or safe journeys. But not only that, robots are now being used as security devices to autonomously detect concealed weapons so that customers can travel safely on their flights. So even if somebody has hidden a gun or some weapon of some kind, a robot can detect that there is a weapon that has been hidden here and that now goes further to improving the security of passengers in airports and on, on, on the plane. In your hotels, again, it's very common nowadays to see robot porters pushing you know, a trolley full of luggage to a specific room or rooms, you know, they will deliver, okay? They will also deliver, you know, uh, clothes that the client maybe um, uh, took for laundry, yeah? They will, they will deliver to the room. They will provide information. Front desk, they will handle, you know, phone calls. They will handle in-house deliveries. They can also um, 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 clean up tables and chairs uh, so that... Um, 
as soon as a client finishes eating, the table will be made ready for the next client.